hate attention. Hello? This is a channel. Definitely. Well, what did you think? To make your way from the church into this world of sin. And welcome back. This is it. A Channel is on the air, and we really couldn't have done it without a lot of people. You've met some of the new faces tonight. You're going to see many more in the days to come. They've come from different parts of Alberta, different parts of Canada, and we're going to take some time to introduce you. Here's the A Team. Michelle Bowden. Meteorologist Michael Koo. Sports with Kathy Kova. A Channel, News at Night. Good evening. There wasn't a dry eye in the house as the Oilers and their fans said thanks to number 99 tonight. Good afternoon and welcome to this Friday edition of Live at Five. And Good evening. Detectives are still piecing together the events surrounding our city's latest homicide. Good evening. I'm Joanne Nugent in the A Channel Newsroom. Here are some of the stories coming your way tonight on News at Night. Good morning, a south side crash sends two to hospital. Today, PSAC intensifies its job action. Workers across the country are off the job, causing all kinds of disruptions. And it's a problem that arises every school year. We have some tips on how to keep your kids life free. This is A Channel News. Good afternoon. More job action from PSAC workers across our province today. News at Night with Dan McClellan, Joanne Nugent, meteorologist Michael Coos, Adam Cook, Shannon Tyler. Welcome back, Olaf Yerny. I'm Paul Menier. And I'm Jennifer Martin. Tonight on A Channel News at 6, Gizmo Williams is rushing home from Tennessee. Welcome back to the Big Breakfast. Good morning, if you're just joining us. Eight o'clock. Now on HNL News, Heroes Homecoming. Live from our studios in downtown Edmonton, this is News at Six with Paul Menier and Jennifer Martin. Good evening. Our heroes in green and gold are back in the City of Champions tonight. Now on HNL News, police fear it could be random. Yeah, it's getting kind of scary. Fire bombers attack a family. 
The U.S. lifts some beef bans, but not all. A shoe that stamps out sweaty feet steps into Canada. And Ruby Story. I'm so happy to be home with my family. A six-year-old talks about surviving in a fatal car wreck for 10 days. Live from our studios in downtown Edmonton, this is News at 6 with Paul Menier and Jennifer Martin. Good evening. Fire bombs forced a girl and her father to flee their West End home today. Now on A-Channel News. Are you going to the Heritage Classic? Live from our studios in downtown Edmonton, this is News at Night with Stacey Bratzel. Good evening. It's been the talker for months. Are you going to the historic hockey game at Commonwealth Stadium? Now on A Channel News at Night. Fatal accident. A greater operator is killed near the downtown core. Goodbye to another round of Edmonton based soldiers. Legend plays tell a stage. Live from our studios in downtown Edmonton, this is A Channel News at Night with Julie Nolan. Good evening. A heavy equipment operator is dead tonight after a tragic greater accident in our city's river. How are you doing? <laughs> You're waking up to your friends right here at City TV's Breakfast Television. I am Bill Walichka. Uh, thanking you. Setting the stage, preparing for the Fringe Festival. Wonderful weekend. The weather and the crowds helped set a Heritage Day's record. Spacewalk. Working on the shuttle's exterior while it orbits the Earth. No doubt about it, this is going to be a very delicate uh, task. Good afternoon, everyone. The festival season keeps on going here in the City of Champions. Everybody, welcome to your city. I'm Paul Menier. Tonight, whipping your kids into shape. We're going to tell you about a new program to encourage fitness. Tuesday morning, the heels of a long weekend. Bridget Ryan with. They're pretty and primed and ready to go. A good Tuesday morning to you. It is 6 o'clock on the nose. You're watching Breakfast Television. A busy morning for us here in studio. All right, down to the last 60 minutes of this Thursday edition of Breakfast Television. So glad to have you along for the ride. Rogers Place, it is open. It's finally open. Everyone's excited. They're pouring in. And we're with the uh, President and CEO of Rogers Communications, Guy Lawrence. Thanks for joining me tonight, sir. My pleasure. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Dinner Television. We are so lucky uh, to have this gentleman by my side right now to talk about workplace. No, I'm not too happy about it, especially considering what I drive. The new year is finally here, and that means the federal carbon tax has been implemented here in Alberta. City News has more on this and the other new tax laws taking effect January 1st. She's a, a pooping machine. Yeah, yeah. the poop factory. A new year means New Year's Day babies ahead. Meet the first baby born in Edmonton this year. 
Continuing the climate conversation, as one year comes to an end, we take a look back at the massive movement to stop rising temperatures. And also, we are looking ahead to what it will take for Canada to become a leader in the global fight against climate change. Good evening and welcome to City News Edmonton at 6. We are here live in the River Valley on a beautiful New Year's Day. and. Edmonton police are investigating two more hate-motivated attacks against two Muslim women. Edmonton's Hate Crimes and Extremism Unit is investigating... Happening tonight in Edmonton. Alberta's premier faces calls to step down. It's a major escalation. Will the calls undermine the premier's messaging during the pandemic and is the attempt to unite the right over? We find that out. Doing so is very rare in Canada under the criminal code. This swastika flag hanging at a central Alberta home has reportedly come down, but does it fit the definition of hate speech under Canada's criminal code? Even those who recover from COVID-19 sometimes have long-term symptoms. We'll be COVID-free <laughs> one day soon. An Edmonton <laughs> clinic is doing what they can to help. This is City News Everywhere. Alberta Premier Jason Kenney could be facing a leadership crisis. Happening tonight in Edmonton. There still hasn't been an acknowledgement from the Premier that, that, that he's part of the problem. Two ousted UCP MLAs speak to City News tonight saying they'll still represent their ridings. Edmonton police are calling a suspicious death from earlier this week a homicide. Broadcasting from Treaty 6 territory, also home to many diverse First Nations, Inuit and Métis peoples, this is City News. Happening tonight in Edmonton. And thank Edmontonians for rejecting the politics of fear and anger and division. Mayor Don Iveson ready to pass the torch to Mayor-elect Amarjeet Sohi. Tonight, more on what they say is a shared vision for Edmonton. Going to lead to more diverse and equitable policies. A historic night for women and racialized candidates in Edmonton's civic election. But does it mean a true shift in how City Hall works? Council incumbents were defeated in Monday's municipal election. We'll hear what they have to say about the race. Municipal part politics should be independent. This is City News Everywhere. You know, I came to this city as an immigrant. I never imagined in my life that I would be stand, standing here. Happening tonight in Edmonton. We've been waiting for so long to have it open. We didn't realize it would be two years since we've been down to our vacation spot. November 8th marks the day many Canadian travelers have been looking forward to, the opening of the U.S. land border. This is City News Everywhere. The U.S. land border opens Monday, welcoming fully vaccinated, non-essential travelers who are driving over. For the best local coverage in Alberta, trust A Channel News. With our team of experienced reporters and more cameras, you get breaking news, in-depth stories and information that affects your world. A Channel News at 6 was recently judged best newscast in the province by the Alberta Motion Pictures Industry Association. When it matters most, count on A Channel for comprehensive award-winning coverage. A Channel News. Very independent. Very Edmonton.